perfection and accuracy is very, very important. Now, a lot of technique, like difficult pieces, it's made up of very simple blocks. Each part is very simple. So if each simple block works, that's the first row of bricks, then the second row can happen, then the third row. But if the first rows are not good, the first blocks are not good, we will have big problems, okay? So, we can start with either hand. Let's start with the left hand just now, right? So, let's do it in fifth position. And we do very, very simple, right? Fifth position on the first string. And I just want you to do this. Yeah, not too strong, but just because today we were talking about the slurs. Some people's slurs were not coming out. We just learned to hit it down. Okay, now I want you to check. Make sure we are learning, we are learning to be accurate. Yeah. One. One more, one more, one more. One, more. Yeah. one three. One three. No, the miss finger. There you go. Thank you. Thumb posture is also matters for this, the thumb. Yeah, more or less. Just now I'm not too worried. Behind two. More or less behind two. Okay? Okay, now let, let's do one four, okay? One four, one four. There we go, one four. Now, so we're just going to do these two studies for a moment, right? Relax for a moment. Now, I want you to think that it's more important to be accurate than to be strong. So, strong is not important. Accuracy is important, right? Uh, today we were talking with one of the students who had a very strong hand. You can do an experiment. You put, you put a finger down, let's say it there, on this note, and we press exactly one kilo. It's perfect. Then we move it back two millimeters. I'm trying to press still one kilo. It's gone, right? So, Two millimeters, <coughs> you now need two kilos. So, and if you miss by three millimeters, you need three kilos. You have to press, every time you are away from the fret, out of position, you need more strength. So it's more important to be accurate. Now, how do we get accurate? Well, if you do 1,000 1, times every day, and then exactly right, then your hand becomes accurate, okay? So let's try that. Let's do just like, like we'll do four of three and then four of four. It's okay, one, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Three. Okay, same one on the next string, right? Now let's, let's check a few extra little things about technique, okay? That's, that's very simple. You can invent a million studies, right? Somebody asked me to, uh, today or yesterday, is there a book about technique? And I said, the book is in here, right? It's much better if you invent it. You will invent the same things that other people have it, but it's much more fun if you discover it yourself. So the idea is, okay, now a million studies similar to that, okay? But I want to go over a few people's fingers, right? Let's do just one four. Now, my finger, my finger is going down on the point. That's better. Okay, and close to the front, look at it. There you go. Okay. Now, if you do it enough times, your hand remembers this. You never miss your mouth. <laughs> we don't look, we, we eat, we take it. <coughs> mm, the mouth is always there. This should be the same. It should be like your mouth. It's exactly always in the same place. But why did the child learn to not to put it here, but to put it here? Because Perhaps. this didn't feel good. <laughs> you know, and this felt good. Well, this should be the same. This, this should feel good in the good place, and that doesn't feel good. Okay, you, you learn to train your fingers, okay? Now let's do a little bit of the right hand. So we do five minutes of the left hand, now we go five minutes to the right hand, okay? So, we just put down, and we're only going to play with the index. We're just going to go... Just put 
put down the thumb and only the index. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you all, I'm gonna ask you all to play free stroke. This is rest stroke is apoyando is that, right? Don't do that, just do free stroke. Yeah, free stroke. Okay. Like not hitting the string. No. Start very close. Bang. Bang. Start on the string, you know? Bang. 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 Because it's more accurate. Okay? Again, we want to be accurate. Okay? Okay, let's do the same. Now, this will be the moment to fix your nail, make it feel good. Okay? If it doesn't sound good, you fix it. Okay, now M. Take down the fingers off, only the thumb, only the thumb down. Yeah, so it's free. Now I fix my nail. A finger. Okay, so so our, our three fingers are working well. Now let's let's develop towards what would be playing a scale, for example. So let but instead of playing a scale, a scale is too many problems. So we're gonna do just I am. We'll do it on the first string. I am. I am. Let's do it together, right? One, two. Let's do them a little closer together. Listen to mine, like this. Let's do free stroke. Let's do free stroke. You can do both, but I would prefer to work more on my free stroke, and then rest stroke is like a luxury, okay? But just for the moment, you can do both, whatever you like. But let's do free stroke together, right? So now we'll make it more close. I am, I am. It's going to be like this. If your nail is, is shaped right, it should feel very very easy, very no resistance, okay? But on the slip across. Now we change, okay? A little slower, we do the other way around. M I, right? M I, M I, M I, M I, M I. Okay, let's do I am again. I am, I am, I am, I am, M I. What I want you to look for, what you're looking for, is the, sa the same feeling, the same feeling of comfort. I am or am I? Now, if one is difficult and the other is easy, then you're going to have a problem. It's a bit like walking. If walking left right is very easy, but right left is not easy, you're going to limp. <laughs> you're going to be a problem, right? So our scale has to be the same comfort, right? So we start little, very simple. Now we're going to add one more note. We're going to do I am I, right? Do it free stroke if you can. Yeah, that's it. Always starting with I. I am I. I am I. I am I. So you concentrate on one idea. Now we concentrate on the other one. Now starting with M. M I M. M I M. M I M. Okay, let's let's add a little bit to that. We're going to start with M. Now most people, one is easier than the other. For just a little group of three notes. I am I or M I M. We have to discover. You have to know yourself. I know which is best for me. Each person will discover. But eventually. They have to be pretty similar, and they have to even, I mean, here we can't do it, but they have to sound the same. This is I am I. This is M I M. But for me, the second one is not so easy, just a little bit more uncomfortable, but you practice them until they are really similar. Now we add on one more note, okay? Starting with I. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, one, one, Okay? And you can do that on different strings, yeah, whatever you want, in bed. Now we do it, now we, now we do the same, start again, this time starting with M. M, I, M, I. Let's 
try, let's try changing something for this. Let's put an accent on the first one. It's a good Right? Not ba bum ba da bum That's ugly, right? ba da dum Okay, starting with M. Okay? And... There you go. Okay, now start... Same thing, same with the accent, starting with I. Now let's go back to the left hand, right? So we've done a little bit here and we're going to do some here, right? Let's develop our idea that we had. Before we were just just being accurate. Okay? Now let's let's add on a trill. Nice and slow like mine. Same notes. Let's do it together. And Next string. Okay, now, now, two, four. Let's do it and change. One three, one three, two four, two four. So it's sound like this. Okay, so don't play loud, nice and gentle. But you know why I want you to study this one? Because today and yesterday, one moment, today and yesterday when, when you were playing, the different players, most people had problems with the ornament. Just a little, it's a very simple ornament. But it's such a pity if it sounds bad. You know, if you play Capriccio Arabi, well, the boy who played Capriccio Arabi did very well, but still, other people, they play... If this sounds bad, the whole piece sounds bad. <laughs> so, it's, it's what a pity. So we must practice our ornaments many times, right? So, we're going to go back. We're going to do one, three, two times, two, four. Two, four. Okay, you ready? And... Studies like this, right? Okay, right. Let's let, let's add a new a new a new group of exercises for you, right? It's up to you now to invent different studies around that kind of idea with different fingers. You can eat whichever finger you want. Now, let's do let's do a slightly longer trill. Well, that, let's just stay with one three for the moment, right? Let's just go and not too fast uh, in time. Do it with me. Only play once. Okay, now many people say, yeah, that's really easy. But in the piece of music, you have another finger down. So we now need to put two down. Okay, and now. Okay, now two on the next string. Sounds terrible. <laughs> Two on the next string. Okay, so let's make a little piece out of it. It's going to sound like this. Okay, you think you can do that? You ready? And... another one, right? Now you're going to do this. One, four. Yeah. Listen to mine, listen to mine once, and then it goes one, two, three, four, one, two, one, one, five. Okay? Yeah, the, only play the first one. Okay? Now we're going to put two, three. Two, three. So let that... Okay. Now 
Can we do the same thing on the next string? Okay, etc. There's a million studies. The best, the best way for this one is, uh, let's put number one down, which stay in the fifth position, right? Put number one down. Okay, now that doesn't move from there, okay? Now we're going to do a trill on the fifth string, two four, right? So we go like this. Okay, then on the fourth string, then the fifth third. Sounds terrible. <laughs> okay, relax there, relax there. And now that's study number one. Study number two, you put finger number two down. Okay, now it's gonna be one three. Next string. Next string. Get more and more difficult. I don't want to even do the first one. Yeah, and, and so on. So you can do so you just do each finger. Each finger, and then... And you will invent, for example, you will invent Vila uh, Lobo study number, whichever it is. You know, he went... It, it got, it got because of course it's normal to learn these, that everybody's hand is the same. So you will discover a whole lot of studies that have already been discovered. But if you discover it, it's more important for yourself, right? So using this idea of one finger or two fingers down and trills, slurs, etc. on the different positions, you learn a lot. Your hand gets much more agile. I use it sometimes as a warm-up. Usually in India you don't need to warm up because you warm already. <laughs> Especially today here. But I don't want the, I don't want the air conditioning because it's too cold. But, <coughs> but um, hopefully, uh, you know, we, we all... We all want to live until we're very old men and women. And I want to play the guitar until, until I'm very, very old. So I want to look after my hands a lot. That means that in the morning, I don't pick up the guitar and suddenly play difficult things. I play all these easy things first. Do 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever you want, 